We are at Headstock Zone. We're live! Ah. Live from the backyard. Hey guys, what up? Welcome to Night Nine, Season Two, Episode Two of our wonderful virtual tour journey. <laughs> Here I am. Dave is next to me. Sean is uh, in the chat, baby. And uh, yeah, what's going on over there? Why <laughs> something's happening already? <laughs> oh my! This camera. What about it? It's just very, very, very close. We people want to see your face, Sean. People want to see every dang detail. You're cute. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing all right. How are, how are y'all doing? How Me? are you doing in the chat? Tell us. Feel free to vent if you have anything you want to vent about. Yeah. This is a safe space. I've been Dave, experiencing some, some vertigo over the past few days. Yeah, you're having like some health problems. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. Apparently, it's like an ear thing. Tinnitus and vertigo are very like closely linked. related. Yeah. My uh, my dog growing up, Chelios. He had vertigo no way so you would just like fall over sometimes it was the scariest thing i think i've ever seen in my entire life that's awful it looked like he was being possessed by a demon and he was like doing like some sort of witch doctor demon dance wait was this (laughs) was this before was this before after he ate all the m&ms this is uh, probably about a decade later oh (laughs) damn all right Latent chocolate poisoning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn, that sucks. I'm sorry. It's yeah, you've been having the weird vertigo sensations. I cut my thumb on a knife. <laughs> Rule number one in the kitchen don't try to catch a falling knife. Learned that. <laughs> don't run with scissors way. and don't catch <laughs> well, a falling knife. I a was, knife that's I was in chopped <laughs> zone. I was rushing. I was feeling ex- inspired by chopped. Has anybody, so much hubris. Has anybody here ever been to those axe throwing bars? That's like, that was like a new hot thing this year, last year. Bars where you could rent axes. And new hot throw them. thing? Yeah. Like, that sounds like some like trendy. gangs of New York. I know shit. how like, you know, craft beers was like trendy, and now axe throwing is trendy. Where? Uh, I think there's one in St. Louis. I don't know. They're, they're, they're <laughs> everywhere. There's probably. Okay. I'm, I'm live on Insta right now. All right. So I can't look it up. But. Whatever, whatever you say, dear. Yeah, if, if you've been to an axe throwing bar, please verify Dave's account in the chat. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, it's Saturday night. You know what that means, Someone baby. Someone said there's one on Clark and Diversity. Exactly. Hey! <laughs> I never go over so there. Strange. I like. I prefer darts. Someone said it's so fun. Is it I, really? I will say this, at actually. At the bottom of that independent movie theater. Uh, oh. Probably Crystal says. Interesting. I I am giving a lot of flack to the the art of uh, axe throwing right now, but probably my favorite drinking game in college was Stump. Has anyone in the chat ever played Stump? Stump is great. Stump <laughs> is a deeply dangerous game, but it's really fun. It has different names across the country. It was actually invented in South Bend. It was, call- it was called like Hammerschlagen in a different yeah. zone. I don't Very know. Very brief description of Stump is that you, you drag, you either play it in the backyard or in the house that I lived in, you bring the stump inside, a tree stump, and you prop it up on a table so it's like chest height. I and mean, the stump is out of the ground. It's more of a mass of wood at It's this a huge, point. yeah, huge log. And so everyone has a nail in front of them in a circle, and you pass around a hammer, and you have to throw it in the air, let it do a full rotation, catch it in midair, and try to hit someone else's nail. And if you hit their nail, they have to drink. And if you shoot sparks, everyone Everybody has to drinks. drink. And the last person whose nail is still up wins. Someone just pointed out that it's so. called Hammerschlagen, which <laughs> I, that's how it was taught to me, too. Really? Yeah, it Dang. was taught to me as Hammerschlagen, <laughs> which I, didn't think I don't know crazy. what that is. So. I mean, same thing, I guess. I, I, so. <laughs> but I knew what you said when you said stump. Yeah, I, I learned it as stump. And I also learned it as being a South Bend creation. There's a poem about it, even, that we read. I don't know. By Carl I don't know Sandberg. If I that at all. That's what I read. If, if you Google it, there's some. I think there's a little bit of truth to it. I don't know. So, anyways, yeah, we are uh, we're here tonight in the backyard, uh, specifically Krista's backyard, which is a nod to one of our favorite songwriters, one of our favorite artists on the planet, who's going to be joining us later. Uh, 
won't reveal that yet, but yeah, we got a special guest coming for y'all tonight. Oh, you tweeted? That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Um, sweet. So yeah, we're going to do all requests Saturday night because it's Saturday night, baby, and we love hearing your requests. I know Lorenzo already asked for look to. We did play that one before. It's Six Flags, I think. But that was when we had that like demon sound error, like the sound <laughs> issue. <laughs> yes, this so is so, this might yeah, be a good opportunity to redeem off. ourselves. I don't know. Are um, we going to do a, an getting, outro bit? Uh, light pollution in the chat. For later. Oh, no. yes. For later? Cool. Um, maybe we should, uh, maybe we could do look to. I should have start with that. Yeah, let's. Lorenzo, I know you're up late in, uh, in Glasgow, so we'll do that one for you so that if you do drift off to sleep, we didn't, oh, I wonder, you know we didn't forget about you. I wonder if Lorenzo ever found my purple hat. Oh yeah, Dave, Dave <laughs> tends to leave a hat somewhere on each tour. That's like the most lost item on tour. I got gotten better at losing or not losing stuff on tour. Yeah. But it's always hats. That's okay. That's how it goes. We got lots of them. Yep. Ready? Let's rock. One, two, three.
And we're back. <laughs> Thank you, Lorenzo, for requesting that tune. It's, um, Sending that love to Glasgow and everybody in the GMT time zone. Tomorrow we'll be playing at a more reasonable hour for you. Um, so thanks for tuning in. What's the most reasonable hour? <sighs> Tea time, of course. <sighs> um, Coffee time in the States. <laughs> Coffee times all the time for you, boo. Sweet. Um, Getting some requests. Please hit hit me with yeah, them. What the else? most what? popular request so far is Ange. Boom. I was yeah. Ange. I was hoping. <laughs> Boom. I was hoping. Boo. boo. No, I I realized we hadn't played that one in a while. We played that one on the first episode of the show, but <laughs> that one is lost because we didn't record it. Um, sadly. But we'll definitely do that one. You think I should? Can y'all hear our heat running in the background? It's fine. It's. I, I think it sounds good. People, yeah. It, people in the chat were, uh, were cozy. We're good. They were complimented. Oh, that's good. Oh. Thank you for the complimentary yes. comments. They were nice. So, um, I was thinking maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't want to spoil it now, but we were thinking about doing a segment where we kind of. Sean had this idea to kind of like go behind the scenes a little bit talking about like how we made our new album. There aren't too many like interesting stories to share. It was pretty straightforward, but there were a couple things that stick out in my memory that would be fun to talk about. And one of them happened the morning right before I recorded the vocals for this <laughs> song. And it kind of inspired me to just go balls to the wall and have no fear. Because sometimes you get psyched out when you're recording vocals, I don't know. It's very easy to lose confidence. Anyways, so maybe we'll, let's, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Little, little teaser. Ready? Yeah, maybe sip. Take a sip. What kind of beer are you drinking tonight, Dave? I'm about to get koozie because I don't want to. Sponsored content? Yeah. Okay, well then don't but, tell well, anyone. Well, it's 8.05, it's good. Uh, California beer. Okay. High Eight elbow five, extension. Just joking. Um, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four.
that was the first song that we wrote for Emojis. the new album. Emojis! Emotes! Keep them coming, please. Someone, Jeremy from Double Grave called me out for calling them emotes, and I just want to let the record show that I think the term emoji is fine. Dave is the one who's a snob about that. I guess on Twitch they're known world. as emotes, but it's, uh, it's all the same to me. <laughs> you but can't find PogChamp on your iPhone. Touche. That shouldn't, that's like, that's like a new Twitch slogan. What? You can't, you can't find, find PogChamp on your iPhone. I love that. Sweet. Um, Clip it. What's going on in the chat? Uh, just a lot of emojis right now. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. People keeping, are going through their Saturdays, show. telling me how their Saturdays Yeah, please just right. tell us. It's I great. I like hope you guys are doing all right. I, had a I have a confession to make. Oh, boy. <laughs> I did not go to the post office today. We moved here. Which I we moved it to Monday. a lot of sense now because people can order if they want all weekend. Yeah, you guys feel free to order merch if you want. That's not the reason I didn't go, though, to uh, be honest. I thought that was. No, I woke up home. today. No, it was my own bullshit that kept me from going. I woke up today and it was like, it was a really nice day in Chicago. Anyone in the chat who lives here, you know that. Um, and I saw the sun and I felt how nice it was outside. And the saddest thing happened. I like immediately was like, I can't go out. Like there are going to be so many people at the post office. I got really, really freaked out. I think you mean how nice it is outside is this, right what? now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, it's beautiful. You got the grill going. In the as back. you can see, it's a lovely, <laughs> lovely day today. Yeah. But I'm not I'm not going to leave the backyard. I I seriously was like the post office is going to be so crowded. I got really anxious and like nervous about it. So I was like, the, you know, the few people who have ordered merch so far are going to have to wait until Monday because I just couldn't go today. So I'm sorry. But yeah, the, Saturday is usually my weekly journey outside of the house but I'm just gonna have to wait till Monday hopefully it'll be rainy and gross and no one will be at the post office yeah uh, you're getting a very very strong request for control okay that's actually perfect because it's on the same capo how and did you in know same tuning for me and in the same tuning for Dave perfect and I know that one <laughs> and you know that one you know all of them Dave PSA no Weezer song no, we don't know any Weezer songs, Hello. except Beverly Hills. I know Buddy Holly. Um, <laughs> also, just PSA, we up, we're, we've we been uploading all the episodes to YouTube now, so um, if you have any desire to relive any of this, it's all live on YouTube. And once again, if you're watching li like on YouTube, yeah. weeks later, what's up? Um, <laughs> also, I think it's like um, it automatically like archives our current ones so far so yeah. it's good so just so Set you know we got the technology on that curve baby we did not lie to you trying to improve every time also we we really dialed in our our tone today we spent like an hour <laughs> we spent more time than we usually do so i hope it's I think, it, I think it sounds pretty good yeah all right um okay. not that we're fishing for compliments but I'm proud of us. Boom. Ready? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really give you a chance to answer.
Thanks for the request. Appreciate it. <laughs> we, have we have a question in the chat. Yeah, what's what's up? Who is in control? Who? <laughs> Good question, baby. No fucking clue. Fun fact, when I, I wrote that song when I was like 16, but we ended up changing a lot of the lyrics and kind of reshaping it. What were later. the original lyrics? The about? lyrics were. I didn't know about that. I think it was like, uh, I'm in control. A blunt. <laughs> no, those are not the <laughs> words. Um, the old th at the end, you know how it goes like, uh, the old day begins to shut or whatever, and rolling on becomes another. It used to be fuck the old day, start another, <laughs> which is very <laughs> angsty. A lot of people in the chat guessed that you were in control. So this yeah, that was the teenage up. lyric for sure, but then I realized that I'm not most of the time, <laughs> uh, slash all the time. But there is a really old version of me playing that song by myself before I ever met Dave or Sean on YouTube, if you want to look for it. It is pretty bad, but it's out there. It's not the worst. Young, young, young. I mean, I'm, I'm still young, but like teenage me playing that song. <laughs> before I change the words. Some of the words are the same, but. What, uh, what time is it, Sean? Uh, it is 8.27. Okay, yeah, fuck, okay, it's time for our segment. We're gonna, we're gonna do our special guest segment if this is cool with you guys, and if it's not, sorry. Wait, no, Sean, I wanna do an intro. Hang up. I have a, I have a whole intro prepared, okay, hold on. I didn't know it was gonna make that noise. MC duels. Hold on. What? MC duels. Well, I, I want to do it. I want to give this person a proper intro. So, we love bringing special guests on the show. Tonight is another special guest from right here in Chicago, but it's someone that we've known and admired uh, for a long time. So, uh, our special guest tonight is Namdi, Namdi Obanaya from Chicago, and he put out a fucking awesome record just over two weeks ago two weeks and one day ago called brat and i have it right here oh sean you put some confetti in there. oh yeah can we see the confetti i made a confetti oh, no. effect today wow. <laughs> that was all you brat colored confetti i made that today in after effects it took me it took me a few minutes so anyways so this is one of the best records that has come out this year and that will probably come out for a long time uh it's fucking awesome I wrote down a direct quote. I feel like this is apropos. Namdi said, the record is about prioritizing your wants and needs, even if it feels selfish sometimes. I feel like that is just a very relatable idea and something that is really important now. Obviously, within the constraints of keeping everyone safe and social distancing and, you know, within your quarantine, you need to be good to yourself. And... Uh, I just feel like this record hits home really hard for me personally. And hopefully if you haven't heard it yet, you should check it out. And I have a feeling that you'll, it'll resonate with you in a similar way. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll get Namdi in here and we'll talk about the record. And then I think we're just going to chat and uh, catch up and see what he's got going on. So maybe call him now. I'm <laughs> sorry. I didn't prep you. It's fine. It'll it'll be fine. It's not that oh, bad. If you slide it like you're doing, that it goes back. Excuse me. What's up? Chill, <laughs> man. I don't know what, what you can see right now. I'm he down, can't buddy. see <laughs> nothing. Can't see well, Our technology is flipped. limited. Well, it's a little delay, but I can see. Uh, <laughs> did you see uh wait did you flash the uh the uh, floating head yeah dave made this floating head of an old picture of you <laughs> yeah <Whoa. laughs> I there you are. Dance around. <laughs> oh yeah i made that for the this two right there with fun i made yeah, this one too is where he's got the antlers and the third eye there, now it's Dave. Can you hear that? I can hear a little bit. I can <laughs> hear it now. You, we could share the headphones. Lenny, Lenny the Llama, the Fortnite oh, Llama. Oh, excellent. Oh, yeah, is it is a llama. Fortnite? It's a Fortnite Llama. Oh, yeah, baby. Do you play Fortnite? Yo, the graphics look dope. Yeah. Wait, what is it? Are it's... you talking about Fortnite or about our stream? Well, I was talking about your stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, that. That's that, a good. That's a good response. Do you play Fortnite? Fortnite? 
<laughs> Dude, the graphics are fucking <laughs> awesome. Are <laughs> that llama is also your bassist, correct? Yes, yeah. It's my Lenny? And also one of my pillows. Just hangs out on my bed. Dude, hell yeah. Did you notice where we're playing? I couldn't tell. You said that it was going to be a surprise, but I couldn't tell what it is. It's Krista's, is? Krista's backyard. <laughs> that's not what her backyard looked like. I know, it's a Google image of backyard, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know what it actually looks like. Uh, Namdi, that's literally one of the only songs that I know that how to play heard. on guitar. <laughs> uh, not sure a, like that. Literally one of the only songs I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it. It's a, a I'm damn so good. Boring, but that is one of the few. That's not a good. If, if you only heard a few songs and that was one of them, I'd, yeah, that's not great. It's on YouTube, people. Not even on Spotify. You gotta go to YouTube to hear this one. Really? Yep. Did you take it off Bandcamp? Yeah, Mom I took did? all that shit off. It was just too convoluted. There's like 12 albums up there. And sure. They're all kind of bad. Yeah, that was in the uh, in Tim Crisp's uh, Chicago Reader article when he pointed out that it was like the 13th record. Yeah, so I didn't it was 13th solo record. I was like, what the yeah, fuck? Holy that shit. Brad, Brad is? Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's so yeah, sick. I to go back and count, and I was just like, it's gotta be like eight or nine, and then I was like, <laughs> no. through it, and I was like, holy shit. I've got like 12 records before this. <laughs> Dude, that rules. You're like Dolly Parton. I'm I was exactly looking. like Dolly Parton. You are exactly like Dolly Parton. <laughs> Yesterday, we played a cover of hers, and it was from Jolene, which is like her, her best selling album, I think. But yeah. it came out in like 1970 or 1971, but it was like her 13th album. I was like, Fuck, did she just put out like two albums a year? Pretty That's much. Crazy. Yeah, I know. She's wild. Nobody nobody commented I'm wearing shoes in the bed. Are oh, you? No. They're not touching That's the bed. Against I'm, the rules. I'm being very cautious. I'm dangling them. But oh. I'm moving reckless. You know, <laughs> my move is like when I have just like a, the freshest pair of shoes, like straight from the box, mm. I usually try to sleep in them. Sleeping them overnight, so they kind of like form to my foot a little bit. Better. What? Have you done that? And, and just I just like never noticed. Leap out of bed. <laughs> Got a little... That's like some video game shit, Dave. Why did you do that? It gives me a little spring <laughs> in my step. Is that a Polish thing that you learned? It's a Polish thing. It's totally a Polish. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sneakerhead. Sneakerhead. Namdi, what's your favorite Gatorade flavor? Uh, uh, this was from yesterday. Which one? Frost. That's Glacier Freeze is a variety of frost. Oh, come again? I don't, see, I don't know. What it's color? Like, I like the Glacier Freeze. Is that the white Yes! Wow. The pale blue. That's like the blue one. Right? Yeah, that's... Oh, light, light blue. You're that's my favorite. The, one. the what sky, one? Sky, blue sky. Blue sky? It's white. That's the one that looks like... Oh, oh that's oh, like cherry. Glacier cherry. cherry. That one's good yeah. too. Arctic cherry. It's like yes. weirdly... I like that one. Yeah. I like the cucumber uh, one too, even though that was... That's, uh, people are split on that one. But Pepino Limon. Oh. Pepino Limon. Pepino. Oh, that one's shit. so, so... That's you don't like it? Polarizing one for sure. I, we won't get into it on the stream, but no, I've yeah, got... There's doing? a few... What, are you going to rush to do something else? Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Namdi, you asked for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Vent, Swain. I Give us a rant. I have a uh, chronic stomach illness. Mm -hmm. And I have to get colonoscopies to check for stuff like cancer and stuff every once in a while. And I have to get, uh, you have to do the prep for it. And you have to drink all this powder. Oh, and no. I, so you do it with Gatorade. And so I pick the least, like the Gatorade flavor that I like the least every time. Because I know I will never drink it again. That's I, smart. I always do cucumber. Because <laughs> it's so oh. gross. You up, yeah, you end up hating it. <laughs> Because you just associated yeah. it with horrible and I'm things. Like, and I knew I wouldn't like it to begin with, so. You, yeah, asked, you, you, like, you asked for that. Sean, but. You don't like any, Sean doesn't like any foods. He eats That's the same two true. things. Sean has expanded a lot in the last yeah, couple years that we've been touring. I recently. guess you kind of, yeah, yesterday in the chat we talked about uh, what we ate for breakfast. And I've pretty much eaten pop tarts for breakfast for okay like John, well breakfast. that's bad <laughs> the other night you texted us and you were like hey guys i'm gonna get some thai food do you want anything i was like thai food yeah. sean that's exciting but also you didn't Good actually chance. <laughs> yes brand new swain expand your horizons while you're stuck inside 
God damn. Wow, someone, someone uh, in the chat is convinced. There's a conspiracy theory starting in the chat that Dave does not have pants on. <laughs> Your shorts Which are very short. According to the green screen <laughs> is very true. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. I love your legs, Dave. I think your legs are very, like, cute. Aww. Gams is what they call them. Gams. Uh, my, my head is just over Dave. That's good. That's good work. <laughs> yes, yeah, keep that floating head running around. God damn. I feel like in a very old person, every time I'm using, like, any streaming or video chat software, I can never get it to work right away. And I feel like my face is just, like, so close to the... Yeah. <laughs> is this thing on? <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> I watched a live stream recently, and the guy, it was a tallest man on earth, that like guitarist folk guy. And yeah. like 30 minutes into the stream, like, he was like, Are we live? Are Is we this live? thing on? I was oh like, my God, Yeah. That was just magic. <laughs> <laughs> we're still, you're still going, dude. Like, <laughs> I spent 30 minutes in. You got to ask that. Yeah. He, he did. He just asked it after every song. Yeah, it, was, every song. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Have you, awesome. what if, what's your, wow. uh, there you go. Oh, damn, nice socks. Are you FaceTiming, Catherine? Ah. <laughs> oh, our roommate's friend is super high, and she's streaming, not via Twitch, but via FaceTime in her basement. <laughs> well, hi, Maggie. Hell yeah. Wow. Um, we, got music, we got segments. We got special guest, Nandi. Oh, yeah. So special. <laughs> you're, you're a special guest, Nandi. What have you been doing in your house? I don't even do shit. I'm so bored at Same. all times. Same. <laughs> you have uh, you have roommates, you know, right? You at least you can like you know hang out with them. Yeah, if I was living by myself, I I usually like to be by myself most of the time. But I know, Got judging it. by the things that I've started doing with roommates. I knew if I was by myself, it would have went down a like a gross, <laughs> bad. <laughs> bad <laughs> Like, just bad habits. Like, the things I eat in bed now are just, like, just soups and... <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. You gotta buy stuff that'll last. I mean, I feel you. Yeah. Dude, you should just grow at your beard as much as possible. Oh, yeah. I'm already, I'm kind of sick of it already. I bought this beard spray <laughs> online because I was like, do I shave it because it's kind of itchy or do I actually start taking care of it? Mm -hmm. And I'm... I'm opting for taking care of it. For is that a what long that's for? It, but... That spray? That's for your for your like facial hair. That's not for the yeah. fade. It's like a <laughs> yeah, like know. beard oil. I thought it was. Yeah, I beard thought... oil. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's been spritzing that <laughs> shit on his razor. <laughs> I literally have done that before. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's probably not bad for you. It might be bad for the razor. Yeah, yeah. Totally that's cool. <laughs> have you been eating garlic bread in your bed? Not yet. I mean, I mean some toasted sub. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three toasted subs in the bed. Get, you get Quiznos delivered straight to your bed. Oh yeah, no, I make that. I make it myself. Nice. Literally everything at Quiznos is trash. I can make it's, it way better. It's just like a Quiznos shop that is still has, in business. They uh, have like I a think, convection well, oven. Maybe not anymore, but dude, maybe we should play at Quiznos tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> I, I will not be watching. <laughs> <laughs> What's that freaky, that freaky like mascot that they had? Oh, Nandi, that kind of reminds me of your your art, like the oh, yeah, that yeah. freaky yeah. animal like the cut and with the hat and the <laughs> and the eyes. I gotta look it up. I'm gonna look mm -hmm. it up too. It's we like we love the moon. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Does the I'm chat know what I'm talking about? Quiznos mascot. It was like the freaky little yeah. animal with the hat and the eyes. You gotta Google Quiznos. We his like name the moon. Was like Q or something. Spung monkeys. <laughs> what? Spung monkey. Spung. The spung. S p o n g. Sponge. Are so abnormal and freaky that as Quiznos' short-lived mascot, they were what? <laughs> so people fuck. lose their appetite <laughs> for a sandwich rather than gain it. Oh god. Oh, I think look at. I don't know if you can. <laughs> abnormal and freaky is my is this kind of mask oh, these fuckers can you see that I, that literally I, looks like a meme <laughs> your, your screen's pretty bright but i, I see the hat so I, I see yeah, the hat is that, oh does that work namdi is that can you see that yeah. yeah you know how um that like movie... circles in the way yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Movie yeah. posters have like little <laughs> taglines like a masterpiece, four stars, whatever. Yeah. One of them, 
for for my future movie is just going to be so abnormal and freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> Tribune. Four stars. Four stars. So abnormal. <laughs> I feel like that could be a good segment for the show. Dave reads his screenplay <laughs> as he writes it. Can you write a screenplay, in, Dave? In two notes. days? I feel like <laughs> in a yeah, it starts. We open in a quiz nose, empty <laughs> during the COVID nineteen outbreak. Yeah. Okay, that's a good start. You just gotta come up with a couple characters, and uh, you're off to the races. Well, one of them's Spunk Monkey. <laughs> it's not Spunk. <laughs> Not spunk mumpy. Spunk mumpy, <laughs> spunk mumpy whispers into he the camera. Right. Where is my family? <laughs> See, this is gonna be a great movie. I'm excited. Uh, I'm we are. We're getting uh, some requests for a screenplay for Sprout the movie, Dave. Uh, oh. Dave, has, Dave has a little uh, weed sprout called Little Dave. Nice. That brought on the show. in the Dave movie. Yeah, Lil, Lil Dave is a main character for sure. I think we're planning to do another character. Weed Sprout update in a couple weeks because uh, you need to give it time. If you look at the sprout every day, it's like it's not growing. But I was uh, looking at a picture, fuck, I don't know my phone, <laughs> of the very first day that Dave planted it, and it's tiny. And now it's like it was medium. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke that shit. Not so Lil yeah. anymore. Smoke uh, that shit right think... now. <laughs> now, D, how did you come up with the... Uh... With the album art for Brat, oh, someone, yeah, in, the, someone in the chat question. wants to know. Who, 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 I guess I, I guess I kind of want to know too. It just well, every time I write a song, it's automatically accompanied by some sort of visual element, and that was just the first thing that came to my mind when I thought of the name Brat. It wasn't going to be called Brat originally; it was going to be called something else. That was dumb. And then when I settled on Brat, that was the first thing that popped in my head, and I ran with it. Because it felt good. It wasn't a lot of thought. It just was the first thing that clicked. That yeah. rules. Who took the picture again? Jess Myers. She designed all the records. It looks really, TV. really good. Yeah, we haven't we haven't talked part. since you uh, dropped this off at our house. But thank uh, you yeah. so much the, for bringing this by. Uh, Contactless yeah. delivery people. Oh yeah. That is service oh, right there. Yep. It's right. really great. Oh, uh, you could turn 90s up. head on our main screen, too. Look at him! Look at that beautiful <laughs> thing! <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Yes. Yeah, no, it, it's beautiful. I love the... And I yeah. like how... I love when a record has, like, a color palette. You know? Yeah. Like, we made confetti for the stream. And I was like, what color should it be? And Dave was like, blue and pink. Duh. You know? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's so sick. It's very <laughs> cohesive. Colors. Love it. I love, I love those colors. Do Someone you... said they pre-ordered the record and they're pumped Hell for the yeah. crown to come. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. oh, the crowns are so tight. That rules. They remind me like Burger King Happy Meals. That's what I thought that was. <laughs> no. No, it's <laughs> it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's so tight. That's such a good idea. Big that fan. Rules. Yo, when I delivered off that record, I had to pee really bad and I ended up peeing in a <laughs> bottle in a car. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Across the street were like looking. Oh. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I Dang. Hope that was funny. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it was fine. I was going to say we could just, it's, we could have let you in our backyard and you could have peed, but nah, we have neighbors was, with children. This was <laughs> <laughs> Potentially could have, could have scarred them. Wow. That's all right. We got some questions oh, in the in chat. The chat? Why did wow. I be in Nandi, I hope. I think this is for uh, Namdi. This is a follow-up yeah. on the album art. Do you ever what? think of the visual first and then write the music to accompany it? Or do you always do music first? I've never... Stomped him. Um, look at him. I've never done a visual or thought of a visual and then wrote, written a song around it. Mm. Never in my life. Ooh. I don't challenge think I've done that either. Issued. Yeah. That would be a good challenge. Yeah. I've like seen something and then yeah. yeah, but that's not the same thing. You mean like coming up with my own visual idea? I, yeah, I think that means like <laughs> yeah. getting like album art first, then writing the album or something. Oh no, yeah, that's a challenge. I have a question. H have you ever been part of part of the Wildcats albums, Namdi? I haven't. The Adams Project. <laughs> Adam I and haven't. everybody. Adam Bosarge. Explain. I Definitely will eventually. Wildcats is the greatest band of all time. What is this? It's I don't know. Amazing. Collaborative um, 
eons of collaboration, I would it's say. W Y L D K A T Z, right? Wild. Cat. Yes. And they just literally will improvise songs. They have like fifty or sixty. <laughs> they have a lot of albums, and it's yeah. just them improvising and writing about literally whatever comes to their head. And it's they're the best band of all time. Is it like <laughs> broken social scene where there's like a few main people the whole time, or is yes. it just just yes, it wild is. west? Like, like broken social. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much <laughs> to it. Oh well, I bring them up because. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of the time they just make the track list of the of the album they want to write first, yeah. and then they write the songs that. to the song title. I love Dude, them. I'm so about that. I love like coming up with a cool title and then writing a song to fit the title. I haven't done that in a while, but I I was thinking the opposite is like Emily Dickinson, a bunch of like poets. I was always disappointed when I read their stuff because, like, all their poems, the title is just the same as the first line. And yeah. I was like, what if for a record we did that, where all the songs were just named after the first line? But that would be awful, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it could be cool. It could be cool if you have know. really good first li- I guess that would force you to have a really good first line of every song. Yeah. But I don't know if I have that much. I don't know if I'm going to be that picky about it. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you remember what the first song was that you wrote for this record i wrote for this record um the first one i finished i think was flowers to my demons but the the beat for gimme gimme was written at the same time i was writing drool stuff i just never wrote the lyrics to it that's cool because that's it has that like same kind of motif or whatever that like hook Alrighty, alrighty, alright. That thing. Yeah. That's, that's dope. That's kind of why I put that in there, because I was like, this is like the same era. Yeah, that. like a callback. Yeah. Transition. That's dope. Do you, I think it was in Tim's piece for the reader that you said that you had like tons of demos and like only three of them ended up, or like sketches that you were working on. What were those, were the ones that you didn't end up using, like, what were they like? Were they just like crazy or just... Um, didn't fit emotionally or something like that a couple of them were too whiny mm. <laughs> i feel that yeah like audibly whiny, or yeah were you whining or you being <laughs> yeah. like, subject material sure like mm-hmm. if i if i write a song where i'm complaining about something or complaining or just like something that bothers me yeah i like to write something that kind of counteract like i don't like every i don't like to have like an overbearing negative arch on things with no positive solution mm. like i made this out this ep called despondent which yeah. was like one of the first things i recorded and every all the songs were super depressing and kind of open-ended but then i made all the artwork positive and like ways people could find help in such situ- the situations i wrote about so mm. like if there was anything where i was like i can't figure out any way for like this to flow on the album and like seem like it's a possible rut to get out of it was just like negative for the sake of negative like yeah i don't feel i don't really feel great doing that <laughs> i respect so, that yeah, having at least out. like an a way out like a hopeful way out you know yeah just like a resolution from the creative act yeah not even like a yeah not even like a resolution like this is what's everything's gonna be okay because everything's right. not always gonna be okay but just like I don't know. There, there was like a lot of overarching negativity on a lot of the shit I was writing just because I was not in a good spot <laughs> for some of it. Yeah. Mm. You were like kind of isolating for some of it, right? Yeah. Which is not, not anything new to me. Yeah, sure. I think just the, just overthinking and yeah, it was, it was a weird time. Overthinking and like <laughs> doing music full time like i think that was it that was i haven't been doing it for that long it's been like three years Mm -hmm. of only doing music you know so So it's just like figuring all that shit out and like being like is this worth it i'm i'm poor still (laughs) and i work so hard (laughs) dude hopefully i mean i can't say it's worth it i can't speak for you but i mean you made something really fucking cool man Mm -hmm. like i think i think my favorite song on the album is perfect in my mind and i know i told you it was glass casket that's 
that's probably my favorite song that you've like written yeah. but um perfect in my mind i was listening to the record again today and i was like i i really appreciate what you're saying about like just kind of giving giving people the power to like put themselves into a song and like take away whatever emotional experience is right in the moment like that song because the hook is like it was perfect in my mind which yeah. you're not automatically saying that it was that much less than perfect in real life i don't know it's just like it it's it struck me immediately as being a really sad lyric and idea but then when i thought about it more it was it actually made me it gave me a lot of hope too because it was like it's you know whatever you visualized or thought of it's not like that ever goes away like you can still hold on to your you know your memories or like your hopes or whatever like they're they're within you no matter what um yeah i don't know if that's uh, it just it gave me it made me uh feel some kind of way oh yeah i was definitely very cautious about trying to write very specific things about my own life but make yeah. them vague enough where people can understand exactly or pretty close to what i'm i was going through but also put themselves in it and yeah that's not it's not an easy thing to do yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so, not at all i definitely tried to think about that a lot while writing just like can someone else put themselves in this situation of this song and have it still be about what like my experience totally that's so so sick i wish i would have found this beforehand but when we did a tour together where you played glass casket at uh pike room oh well it was at the in quad in the quad cities it was like a raccoon themed bar oh yeah oh, oh, it's a very bar. weird bar mm -hmm. with the yes <laughs> no, the raccoon the, motel with the bags oh, outside oh. yeah the raccoon yeah. motel but you I played glass casket so low, and yeah. i never like to film anything while watching music i just feel like it's like really annoying and stuff so i literally this is after a few days of you playing it so i knew i really liked the song and you started yeah. playing it and i went to the bathroom so i could record it that way i could listen to it until the album <laughs> came out. so i have like a, a really bad live version of it bad as in like it's from the bathroom and like it's all crackly and stuff sean and it's like, not like he would have noticed you doing that. but no just... no one would have but i was like anyone around me i was like i don't want to like I don't know. I just felt self-conscious. That's you, so funny. You pooping in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you hear a little there plop. Are very much some sound plop. effects. Plop. 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 <laughs> Love it. You should oh, send funny. send that along, Sean. We can get a remix. I'll recording. check it out. There might oh, yeah, be some yeah. uh, toots in there. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Love it. Uh, someone also wants to know, which I think this is a very fun story to recap how did you find di the dance kid i don't remember his name oh, oh tyler. Shit. Uh, his name's tyler tyler okay at kyler i think with the K. kyler you said i remember with the K. K -Y -L -E -R. Okay. um my fr our friend uh and also she works with super francis farley she was doing merch for me at do division and saw that kid dancing i didn't see him while we were performing <laughs> but she was right stage left and she saw him dancing and then filmed a video of him. So she gave it to me and I posted it because I was so pumped that this kid was going crazy. And the video was just so weird to me because you have this kid dancing and there's just like a circle of nothing around. Like no one was close to him. <laughs> and also nobody looked at him the whole video. So I was like, this kid is a ghost. This is like a literal ghost <laughs> yeah. video. <laughs> and I posted it on Twitter and on the Super Instagram, and we're just like, "Yo, who is this kid? We want to find this kid." <laughs> so Hell he's yeah. dancing like so well and so passionately, and it was so funny to me, also. And yeah, we just shared it. I shared it for like two weeks straight until finally someone <laughs> recognized, recognized his parents who were standing like kind of far away in the background. <laughs> Oh, like, oh, I know, I know that kid. I think I know his dad is like in the background with the sunglasses, and then the mother hit us up on Instagram, like maybe like four hours after that me. person found us. So yeah, then we started talking, and I made a just very random decision, and I was just like, I will fly you out here. They're from South Carolina. Oh shit! Yeah, they were visiting family because I think the dad's family lives in chicago so that's oh, awesome I, yeah, I, I did not like, know that 
I was like, I don't have that much money, but let me see how much these plane tickets are. I feel like this will be something I remember for a long time. And yeah, it'll be man. Really oh, yeah. Cool. And I mean, Love especially people. making the videos, that's one of Julia's great joys about making music videos is like you have something that lasts forever. Yeah. Like, yeah, along with the music. And now you have that relationship with him. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's awesome. He's so yeah. cool. He loves art. He's going to probably play instruments. He How raps. old is he? He I think he just turned 8. That's insane wow. to me. Dang, yeah. Really? Holy shit. I was I would have guessed he's like 11 or 12. That's so cool. No, he's so smart, too, for his yeah. age. He's so well spoken. And yeah. Oh, that he rules. knows exactly the things he likes, which is like that's cool. I wish I knew what I liked when I was that young. If he <laughs> if he starts rapping or or playing any instrument or singing, you got to get him on a song. At oh, some point. Definitely. He's going to be my touring bongo player. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hey, you got yeah, one of those. That was really fun. They're, the family was really excited about all that. And Dave, yeah. calm down. We got to <laughs> dug out some bongos for you. Dave walked, Dave's auditioning. Dave walked Dave off screen <laughs> in the corner and then popped up in this corner. <laughs> bongo man. He's a bongoman. Bongoman. I just have... use it to rest my elbows. Sweet. You can't have collar spot. You can't have a spot, Dave. He's just... no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave. He's already got a bongoman. What about congas? What about congaman? Yeah. Do you have a congaman? I don't have a congaman. Um, um, Timbale is awesome. <laughs> Timbaleman? <laughs> Dave will play well, any of those. For people in the chat, um, Namdi once led a 20-piece band that played a show. Oh, yeah. On like a tiny, tiny stage at Bee Kitchen, seventeen people. It was seventeen people. So I, rem I remember it. It was we had the post. I'm staring at it right now. That was when was that? What is August? the show? Super launch. The oh, super okay. launch party, August twentieth. Yeah, August twentieth, twenty six, seventeen, sixteen. I don't know. Crazy day. Seventeen people. Yeah, there was a lot of fucking stuff going on. That was a good yeah. show. Never again. <laughs> yeah. quite a lot. A lot. I remember you were practicing like every single day leading up because you had to practice with different groups of people. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about practicing in my band is, oh, I've gotten better now at delegating and like deciding what I want. But like early on, I was just like, just fucking listen to it and get it. And I would like <laughs> not understand how people like couldn't get it. And I'd be like, oh, because it's kind of confusing. And I was like, get it, you play piano, just fucking get it. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, I'm being a dick. <laughs> just go yeah. out and get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even, yeah, the vocal parts were, especially for the, that Sen song that we did was really, really cool. But it was very, like, hard. <laughs> it was yeah. awesome to learn, though. Wow. Yeah, the chat's hard. getting it's pretty stuff. crazy. What's going on in the chat? Namdi is now faced off. With Marcus and Evan, two other drummers of Black Boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a try. Two of Chicago, three of Chicago's fight. best drummers. Too many drummers. <laughs> too many, too many drummers. Yes. I mean, do. years ago, we, we you need know. to. Can you do a group call on Google? Oh, we gotta get. <laughs> I guess we gotta, we gotta a group get group call. Bren, Brendan Smythe. <laughs> we gotta get everyone on here. Everyone get your like, hey, drummer <laughs> Yeah, Smythe, get your bongos <laughs> ready. <laughs> we need to have a drum off no. in the chat. Oh gosh, that was so long ago. Have you been playing drums, Nabi? Yeah, I play like I play like an hour a day. That rules. Well, man. yeah, you did that uh, the reverb sesh. That that was so sick. That turned out really like, a great good. Great rendition, yeah. Yeah, it's like different it. than the record. Very different. I'm trying to do more of that, and uh, yeah, I'll have, I'll have some videos. I just got a really nice camera, so that's nice. like game over, honestly. Like, sick. I, yeah. You, like, you didn't have to call anyone over to your place to film it or anything? No, we filmed that reverb session all... We had four of our cell phones, or three of our cell phones set up just around us. Yeah, like fixed angles. What's uh, yeah. What's this nice camera you got? The chat wants I to know. Got, oh, let me show you. Can you get the nice. model and serial number? <laughs> hey, Lama. We got Bongo Bliss over here. Bongo boy! Come on. Any questions for Namdi the Llama? <laughs> for Namdi's Llama? Oh, I'm cracking it up. 
Take your time. Oh. Okay. It's called the Black Magic Pocket Cinema 4K. Wow. Oh, That's super sick. Dope. Wow. Um, it was recommended to me by Sun's brother because he's like a professional photographer who did a couple of Sun's music videos. Um, yeah. I just got this last week. But these motherfuckers forgot to send the lens. Wow. What? Wow. How can you how can you even use it without the lens? You can't! And I needed it for a bunch of stuff I had to film. I told people I was like, I'll have it by this weekend. And then I didn't have a lens. Oh my gosh. I was so mad. And I sent him an angry email. I was like, eat them, eat them. I paid for it. I invited shipping for no reason. Wow. Are they gonna you send you two lens. lenses now? I don't know. They ghosted me. Uh, what? Yeah, they freaking ghosted me. They didn't reply to my email. I called and I talked to a guy. And he's like, I'm so sorry. We're so backed up. And I was like, yeah, I get it. I understand. But like, I paid extra so it would arrive early. And then I couldn't use it for like a, a week and a half. That's but sucks. let's see. Damn. I, I like, that's like my least favorite thing is like complaining to people who clearly like it's not... <laughs> Their fault. their fault. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like a giant company. <laughs> and I was just like, please just send me my money back. <laughs> Do you have some, a thing? Oh, so you said you had some things in mind that you're going to oh use my it God. for. I'm trying to make music videos for people. Like, that's been a big thing I've wanted to do for years. So, this is cool. Hell yeah. 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 yeah I've been more into cameras than I'm. I've never been into like buying even. gear ever. Like I don't give right. a shit about any gear at all. But for you, cameras, like, just bought a guitar, right? Like, me? didn't or what did you? It was like a couple <laughs> of years ago that you bought yes, like you your first. Oh yeah, I bought my first guitar two years ago because the guitar I was borrowing on tour like exploded. It was, yeah. done. <laughs> I was like shit. I gotta buy a guitar right now because we had a show that night and damn. I, bought, I don't even know. It's like a black. SG something or other. I don't know anything about guitars. Me uh, neither. It it's makes sense. But cameras? That's a black side. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to get so into cameras and lenses <laughs> and stuff. Like, I don't feel the same amount of weirdness as I do when I'm just, when people talk about instrument gear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that rules. There's uh, another question in the chat, which Kudo? is more of a. It, reads to me more like a demand or request oh, shit. it says it says this is claire can you talk about the big show that's claire teeling <laughs> oh, claire teeling <laughs> claire teeling hello that is that just question. a denial oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> you may you may you please claire. <laughs> This is for Claire and Evan only. This is a very personalized picture. I'm going to up because I just found it and it's crazy. <laughs> also in the chat, Namdi, which I don't know if you can read while you're doing this, but there, can you read? There has no. I don't know if it pops up or not. I know, oh, yeah, I'm just joking. But there has the only been. Only way Namdi can see us is via uh, the Twitch page. But a, a drummers union has formed in the chat. So cool. if you want to join that. I, I, with I, Evan and I don't have to do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pay your dues. Claire, I promise I promise everyone this is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Only Claire and Evan. I'll no one else even bother looking. I'll keep them entertained with Hi some Claire and Evan. Betty. Miss you guys. I'm probably gonna FaceTime you out of the blue one of these days. Except wait, you guys don't have FaceTime. You have Android phones. All right. Nerds. You got a hello back from Evan. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know how to video chat you guys. Wait, are we talking about the big show? Yeah, um, well, yeah I, can't find I, think, it. I think so. I oh, so disappointing. What was it? It was a picture of Claire and Evan playing a Tiger Lily set at my oh, house. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ah. The outside yeah. sets. I was going to ask you, I had written down to ask you, what was your favorite show at the Pancake House? The house that, where you lived and put on shows oh, in Lansing, Illinois. Is it the one where everyone got the flu? Was <laughs> 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 that one or show one or two? Uh, I think that was number one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, I don't really know. Show, I, I, I can't think. really remember, but I just remember it was the most sick I've ever felt in my entire life. Yeah, it was horrible. It, like literally got everyone that was at that show, and it was like 
at least a hundred people. That show. <laughs> I watching, like I was, I was so sick, and then I just watched all of Parks and Rec, like all the way through. And every time I hear the Parks and Rec theme song, I like get this ghost sickness in my belly. Like, I remember how horribly sick I was then. That is well, unfortunate. It took me like two and a half weeks to get better. <laughs> it was very scary. Was it worth it? Who played? I think I that was Mi- a Mishu remember. show. Mishu and Island, maybe? I don't know. I only ever went to one show and, uh, at your house. It was great. I had a great time. Father, they covered ma- wow. Mass Yeah, it had yes. to be at the show. I remember that show. Wow. The show where Jake's knee exploded. That, Sorry, came, uh, that came up in the chat. I think Jake's in the chat. The chat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. He just sent a link to a video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Click at that your one. own discretion, yeah, you guys. <laughs> that, that is gnarly. That's so gross. Yeah, Wait. It is that, memorable, for sure. <laughs> I've only heard stories about that. Did the show resume after no, Jake I, left in the ambulance? Yeah, it was just Jake. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I remember uh, like getting the text. I wasn't at the show, but somebody texted oh me. God, it's like, show Joe's on. canceled. That's Jake. Show's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, bye, Jake. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Jake's that sucks. Broke. Roll, That's so brutal. <laughs> Rip. Marty is currently watching the link. And Marcus said it was a dowsing reacting. show. Is it was a ill. So, oh yes. It was during Thrash Kitten. Like, Mar- Marcus mm-hmm. said, "Deeply fucked." It's oh. a direct <laughs> quote oh, from the man. chat. <laughs> Don't watch that video. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. I hope you're okay, Jake. He's, he seems good in the chat. So that was your favorite one, Namdi? No. Okay. <laughs> I really liked. I don't remember who else played. I think it was Island Misfit Toys. A nervous passenger oh, no. played. That was mm-hmm. fun. There's a video of that somewhere on the internet. Um, and also the Tenement. Do you guys remember that band? Wow. Tenement. Yeah. Love yeah. Tenement. They yeah. played? I, don't, I was not at your house when they played. Woo! They played the That's same show as so the, as Easter. I th- yeah. Wow. Okay. I looked back at <laughs> yeah, I, was there. I looked I back at the Facebook event, and oh my it was six bands. I don't remember Paramedics, Super Swag Project. Easter, Tenement, Jesus Christ. Dirt in the Thirty Fingers. And oh, okay, I was definitely at that show. I don't remember yeah, who else. That's crazy. Also, Forgetting the last band. Whoops. And all Albatross. The nervous passenger show. Was Albatross playing? Too? No, not that one. Okay, no, someone I just... Albatross never played at my house. Okay, Evan <laughs> is uh, just throw it out. Yeah. Yeah. That was... Crazy because the guitar player... Every time he has, like, a very long solo, he does something insane. <laughs> Dude, he... Do you remember Namdi? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you okay. and I at Skeletal Lightning Fest, yeah. we were both there. He like took yep. a chain out and choked it. He choked yeah, his guitar choked with like a chain and just like strangled it for like twenty minutes. Yeah, and he was like pulling up his like <laughs> pulling out his strings, and then they like continued the rest of the song with just like his mangled yeah. guitar. <laughs> it was like one of the craziest <laughs> things. On I Sounds was, like somebody um, I could take so, inspiration from. Yeah, <laughs> Dave, you gotta watch Amos some vids. Bitch. It's yeah, taking the pointers. idea of wrestling the guitar time. to the extreme. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Mm, just beat it into submission. <laughs> with a chain! <laughs> Damn, people are bringing up some old things. Yeah. Stand up comics, unique chic. The wow. Chat, the chat's going wild with nostalgia. The chat has, yeah. they know. They have the inside <laughs> info, least, yeah, apparently. The, the inside that info. rules. Everyone knows too much in here. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen too much. We've seen too much. That rules. Uh, I was going to, I had another, what, the last question that I wrote down that I wanted to ask you, because I wrote things down, you guys. I prepare for this shit, okay? <laughs> I'm professional. You're <laughs> to me. What is something that you keep coming back to that makes you happy while you're stuck at home during this quarantine? Porn. (laughs) Good. Excellent. I thought you might. Are you bringing up? That's a wrap on season two. (laughs) Any specific uh, type? That you like the best? Um, there is a question in the chat, Namdi. <laughs> Namdi, there's a question in the chat. Um, and the question is word on for word on that big TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah is that TV. what you're going to use your new camera for? Does, yeah, does uh, the yeah. mama watch? <laughs> Videos of me playing with my own butthole. For <laughs> yeah. 
We were gonna we were gonna Photoshop out a Lenny the Llama. Soft. So soft. Dave was gonna Photoshop out a butt for you. We were thinking of things. Uh, yeah. We were like, what does Namdi like? I was like, Reuben sandwiches, yep. butts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, wait, I have a question. Oh. Are, are you a butt guy or <laughs> are you an ass Born guy? Rock. Am I a butt guy or a penis guy? <laughs> is that a butt guy or an ass guy? <laughs> that's Dave's question. What, what that's the, da- that's the question that Dave wrote down <laughs> for you. <laughs> I have it right here. He wrote it down. Real mature guys. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I think Dave. I'm a butt guy guy but some people are ass guys too so explain the difference for those of us who yeah, don't wait, know. i'm gonna put you on the it's, main screen it's all preference yeah, please. Please. i don't know if julia if you want to give dave yeah, yeah. uh dave give take dave the center stage, stage right. <laughs> explain to us the difference and every time you well, say I mean, ass i'll use the confetti <laughs> you're either a butt guy or an ass guy <laughs> like you, you prefer one or you prefer the other How are they it's doing? that simple um, it, it just kind of how you approach it, okay. but <laughs> like from um, visualization point of view. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Dave's been hanging out with Lil Dave a little too much, I think. Okay. And this has been time with Dave. Oh, wait. Do you also do you remember? Guy, you you know my heart. I'm a booty yeah, guy. what does Hell your yeah. heart? It's, a, it's bo- booty. Something about that word is <laughs> someone it's in a chat. funny uh. word in itself. Yeah, uh. I think uh, that would be some good homework for anyone in the chat, or anyone, all of us. We should all listen to Booty Noir. We should all, uh, yeah, listen to Booty Cheese. That's a good song. Funny, funny story. When Brat came out, I was like super pumped to like check out the specs on Spotify because I have nothing better to do. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, what song's going to be played the most this week? And the song that was played the most that week was Art School Crush. I was like, motherfuckers, I just put out a new album. Dude, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> People just discover the discover the hits. You know yeah, what I, mean? I think it's like what's Dive at down. the top of... Uh... What's at the top of your Spotify already? What it, it mm. wasn't it wasn't at the top until I put out this album, and now it's mm. the first thing. And it's like, <laughs> damn, I like that song. <laughs> but it's so old. Is that Maps and Atlas's clout, baby? Is that Dave yeah. Downham Touch? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Spotify is uh, a fickle beast. Fucking hate it. Hey, if we have sometimes. some information about butts and ass. What? Someone says, butt is from oh. the side, ass is head on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, Dude, I, I think right. I'm going to report that. Is, I'm going to report that. It's all about the vantage point. <laughs> that is I'm gonna close mind the blowing. <laughs> Dave, is, Dave has, can you guys tell that Dave's mind has been blown? <laughs> I understand. This is what a man whose mind has been blown looks like. Who is that? I was just being naive before, but now I understand fully. Mm-hmm. Wow. Love you, whoever it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. Getting lit in the chat. Oh yeah, Nambi, we uh Dave and I prepared a little cover in your honor as well. Oh my god. I don't know if we should play that while you're on the stream. I don't know yeah. if that makes sense. Should we? Yeah. I mean that's... I don't know. What's our what... Will that work? We've never tried that before. Oh, we're yeah, we're trying we're... new things right. on the stream every day to try to keep it fresh and keep people, you know, excited. Try it. I'll try. It. I'll be quiet. Let's see. If uh, it... yeah. <laughs> you could you could sing along. Marty, you might have to turn down your phone. Sorry. I think. Wait, um... if, we, if we try this, this is a. This is a technological. Yeah. What time is it risk. right now, Sean? It is nine fifteen. We have been on. Oh, we're, oh. We've been live for we're, about like we're an hour it. fifteen. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you wanna All right, go well, out with this then? This is well, the no, and then Dom, but... you can like stick around for the end. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Um, if you're down for that. I'm chill- well, I gotta go. You chilling in bed? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gotcha. I didn't think you'd be in bed actually, but well, you look so cozy. Get your guitar. Dave. I'm gonna try to figure out how to make you guys bigger. What uh, do you mean? You can no, go back I to the main screen. No, I know, I know about yeah. that. I know I can do that. And then, but we have so much. so much. <laughs> no, keep moving. Ah, we can't wow. face the... Moving is good. I oh, I got a. Explode. I got a tune for this. So, this song is by 
a band that we know you really like. Oh my god. By the way, now that I know, I am a butt guy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is I'm this is great. We've we've learned so much about each other today. <laughs> I've learned a lot about Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I learned he sleeps with new shoes on and bread. I'm not guy. wearing pants. I'm a butt guy. <laughs> yeah, you're a butt guy. Prove I'm it. A fucking deviant. Stop me. No, you're not, Dave. <laughs> you, okay, so we're tuning real quick. I think we'll play a cover and we'll be um be on our, way. on our way but tomorrow i want to tease the show tomorrow i think we're gonna play maybe all covers tomorrow <laughs> we're kind Seriously? of we're running out of original songs uh, that that we haven't played yet we only have like i don't know 60 songs and we've done a lot of these so i don't know but as well yeah. maybe we'll play some of our songs too but i have a lot of covers that i remembered that i know how to play although now i'm probably jinxing myself Shit that I that I used to do when I played in coffee shops by myself. So if you're looking for that kind of vibe, you know where to find me. Okay. Wow. You Half step down. I think hopefully I don't fuck this up. I do got the lyrics just in case. Oh, I'm so ready. Okay. <laughs> this song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time, and I first heard it I think on the Madden back in the day. Are you ready? I, you got the riff? Yeah, I think I got it. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Everybody's got their problems. Everybody says the same things to you. It's just a matter of how you solve them.
<laughs> Woo! Dude. Yo. That's incredible. Thank you, Namdi. Wow. Thanks. There is so many oh, emojis no. in the chat. <laughs> we live and breathe that shit. I love it so much. Is that Sun 41 it? is the greatest band of all time. Sun 41 is the greatest band of all time. Yep. And... You so think this chill. is a game? Oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, I know what you're about to show us. You think this is a game to me? Fade into music. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the best that? record. That's all killer, that no filler, baby. Old record of it? You see this shit? Holy it's shit. What my triple Canadian platinum? <laughs> <laughs> triple <laughs> Canadian. Triple distilled oh. Canadian. Triple the craziest thing about this is the inscription is presented to Steve O. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, Sean. Namdi, one second. I was gonna say, Sean, you gotta go get your thing. Uh, Sean, Sean has a companion piece to what you are showing us right wait, now. Wait, to the Sum Forty One thing? To the pre oh. presented to Stevo. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get that, Namdi? Dave was... Paulus got it for me for my birthday. He was walking past. Uh, oh yeah, I stuck it on so it wouldn't fall. God bless him. <laughs> and he was like, I have to buy that for Namdi. Oh, you gotta go to the Fuck, yeah. screen. Okay, Namdi, I'm about to show you. Um, a photo that goes along with yours that was on our wall the entire time we've lived here so long that it got stuck to the wall. I just had to rip it off. It was oh, not okay. nailed. It just has been sitting up there for so long. That's <laughs> an <laughs> autographed photo of... Uh, Cast of, of the cast of Viva La Bam that I bought on eBay Whoa. when I was 14 years old. <laughs> or 15 so years old. This is what I used uh, my money for when I got my first job. <laughs> <laughs> All those hours at McDonald's were worth it. No, this, is, uh, this was paid for by Thunderbowl in Frankfurt, Illinois. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Thunderbowl. <laughs> money right. well spent. That is a true Swain purchase right there. <laughs> I love, I'm very impressed by how neat Ryan Dunn wrote his name. It's like not a signature. It's like just very nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you something that makes this a little bit worse. What, the, only, the only person who actually signed it was Bam Margera. Everyone else was printed <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I think it was like $15. And now so like my whole paycheck. And now he could just call you and say happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah can get on, on cameo. cameo. You can we call Bam Margera. Bam Margera on the show. Yeah, should, honestly, for, for a price, but I, I mean, hey. Like what? If you guys yeah, donate, if you match our amount that we have to pay, if, maybe we could split it with the chat. If you, if the chat can <laughs> donate uh, $25 right now, we can probably <laughs> convince Bam Margera to come on the show. For tomorrow, <laughs> for, for, my, for my show. coffee shop series. <laughs> we could probably get him tomorrow on the Perfect. show. Perfect. Like, Bam, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite food? Anywhere Bam? between 15 and $25 would probably get him on the show. So just like a dollar each. Please. Yeah, we'll get them on. That's worth it. We so. promise. <laughs> That's a Rat Boys guarantee. We will have Bam Margera on this fucking show in 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Damn, thank you so much for coming on, man. This has been uh, really fun. Yeah. It's nice to have someone to talk to. I mean, obviously, we all live together, but, you know, it's great to talk yeah, to you and catch up. See the same faces. I got yeah, yeah. See the same faces. I'm like, I want to see some new faces, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> It's nice. Some new faces. Some new faces. Nice. Yeah. Good shit. Well, stay well. All right. Now I'm just Be healthy. There. I'm just going to. What are you doing? I'm just fading out on some music. All cool. Right. I yeah. love that. That's a wrap. Yo. Yeah. I hope you have a good night. Also, Namdi, thank you for showing me um, Tofu Chan. I've been watching that a lot. Oh, you're welcome. That's something that should be shared with everyone. Everyone yeah. go look up Tofu Chan. Go look up Tofu, Tofu Chan. You're going to love it. Make you so happy. And yeah. Love everybody. Love you, dude. Love See you soon. Yeah. Take Where's it easy. Take care. Okay. See y'all. See ya. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? I lost Namdi. That's cool. Oh, God. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> oh, there you go.